Like the dream told me March 2020, and sometimes I'll be having psychic visions, which will be a whole nother video, but. Hey honeys, it's your boy Jeremiah, back again with another video. In today's video will be my last video of the year. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you my top five tracks of 2019. 2019 has been an amazing year for music and I am super, super, super excited and super proud to be able to say that I lived through this year. We have seen amazing tracks from a lot of different artists this year. And I am honestly so overjoyed to be able to explore new music with you guys. And I'm super thankful for you subscribers for recommending me new music and new artists to enjoy. I seriously appreciate each and every one of you and I want to thank you guys for making 2019 such a good one for me. And when it comes to my top five list, I think each of these songs are just amazing in their own, but each of them also come from great bodies of work. I'll put links to the songs in the cards above and if they're from a bigger body of work, I'll put the body of work in the description, whether it's an album or an EP, all that will be done in the description. And I'd love for you guys to join in on this conversation and share in the comments down below some of your favorite songs of the year. I'd love to listen to some if I haven't already. Some of these I have reacted to, so I will also link my reaction in the cards above if you want to check those out as well. But before we get into this video, make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week, not every two weeks, not every three weeks, every seven days or less, honey. And without further ado, let's get into the list. So my number five track on my top five list is Rules by Doja Cat. Now, Doja Cat has been in the industry for about a year or two. She recently came into the music scene with her viral hit, Moo. She's been in it previously. She's been doing it for a while. That track really just gave her the recognition that she deserves. And after that track going viral, she has really been impressing me with the music. She writes, she produces, she does a lot of the creative when it comes to her videos. So she really does a whole lot. And I think she deserves more recognition. Her most recent album, Hot Pink, was amazing. You know, there are a couple of bangers that I really love. Rose is my number one. I love Talk Dirty. I love Shine. I love Won't Bite. Um, Cyber Sex is also a great song. I definitely recommend you check out that project if you haven't. As I had mentioned previously, link will be down in the description below. But Rules for me is just amazing because not only is the song amazing, but the visual is just as amazing. As I had mentioned, those creative elements are there. There are a lot of hidden messages in the videos. I think it was a very well thought out visual and I cannot wait to see what Doja Cat has for us in 2020. My fourth track is Cry by Dalton Harris. I have previously reacted to this, which I'll link a card above if you wanna check it out. Dalton Harris is a recent X Factor winner and Cry was his debut single. So the fact that it's his first single post X Factor is amazing. The song is crazy good. The vocals are always on point. The visual is amazing. Everything about that song and video is truly breathtaking. It's honestly perfection. This is his first single released two weeks or so ago. So I expect we're getting a debut album in 2020. So I'm super excited for that. And I cannot wait to see what we have in store for Dalton Harris because I know the visuals and the vocals will always be on point. Now my number three track is Help Me Now by Kevin McHale. Kevin McHale has been flying under the radar for a while when it came to music. He did the Glee thing for a while. He was one of the mains on the cast. So, you know, he had a lot of singing parts and he did all of that. But then Glee ended. And then for a while, we didn't hear anything of Kevin McHale. He's been, you know, doing, I guess, acting and stuff on the side. I don't think music was really one of his priorities at that point. He released the EP by the title of Boy, which is amazing, honestly. And then he did the X Factor Celebrity, which recently just got off the air. So, you know, he's been making his rounds in the music industry again. And I'm super, super, super excited for what he has to offer us. And this song in particular is my favorite off of the Boy EP, but I also agree that the Boy EP is an amazing EP. This song in particular has those pop elements that I love. Very jumpy, very dancey song. Just a very energetic song. And I think it's good that we see him in a different light because in Glee, although he did the dancing and the singing, it wasn't as fresh, it wasn't as modern. And quite honestly, it just seemed like it was a job when he was doing it. And now he's doing it for the personal enjoyment, but also his feelings are involved because this is music that he's writing. So he seems more into it. And I've just grown to love him after hearing this EP and just him putting his feelings on display for millions and millions of people to hear. My number two track is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. Now Ms. Grande has been through the ringer the past two years. But what I can say is this girl does not give up. Every time you throw a punch at her, she gets up and she throws two, three punches back at you. And you cannot do anything but respect a woman that can do something like that. I mean, 
she has dealt with so much in the past two years when it comes to the Manchester bombing, when it comes to losing Mac Miller, and to be able to get up every day and make music. She just released a Sweet Inner Live Tour album as well. So she has released three albums in a span of two years. I mean, what is there not to love about this girl? And all in all, she's just an amazing, resilient person. I applaud her for her hard work and her perseverance. And this track, is the breakup anthem that we all needed at the time. I mean, come on. The lyrical content about being able to forgive your exes and still see a learning opportunity within a moment of what you think as a failure is amazing. She turns something so negative into something so positive and it's commendable, honestly. She's been doing it for the past two years of her life and she will continue to do it. So I'm super, super, super excited to continue to react to her music and see what she has for us in the future. Now, if you watch this channel, you know what my number one track of 2019 is. My girl has graced us with her debut solo single. I am super, super, super excited for my number one track of 2019 to be Motivation by my girl Normani, y'all. I mean, what can I say? I'm just so, so proud of Normani. I have been watching all of the girls of Fifth Harmony since their debut in 2012. And it is now 2019, I have been with these girls for seven years, so we practically grew up together. Motivation was a smash hit that we did not even know was coming. Ronnie has been hinting at the music soon, soon, soon. Once she hit us with Motivation a little bit after, we got the song with Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj, Bad To You, and she just pops out the music out of nowhere, honestly. We don't get any type of heads up or any type of promo, but I think that's the best, you know? It's, it's good when it's a shock and then it blows up, and Motivation blew up. I mean, seriously, she really killed the visuals. She really killed the song. The late 90s, early 2000s references were out of this world. Choreography was on point. Visual direction was amazing. Everything about that video, as well as the song, was perfectly executed and I think made for an amazing debut single. Now, I previously said in my motivation reaction, which I will also link in the card above, that I think we're getting the album in March of 2020. I had a dream about it, and something told me March 2020 is when we're getting this album. So I'm still going to bet on March 2020 is when we're getting this album. But honestly, I don't know, y'all. Like, the dream told me March 2020, and sometimes I'll be having psychic visions, which will be a whole nother video, but I'll be having psychic visions sometimes, and I'll be seeing stuff, and it'll be happening. She said the album was halfway done, like a week or so ago. So I don't know if March 2020 is the right day, but I'm still betting on March 2020, to be honest. And y'all know that I'm just super, super, super excited for Miss Normani in 2020. I think she's going to release some more bangers, and we're definitely going to get that album. We need to get that album, because at this point, what are we waiting for, sis? We're not waiting for anything. So give us the album. Let's stop with the games. We need the music, period. And that wraps up my list of my top five tracks of 2019. Don't forget to comment below some of your favorite tracks of 2019. I'd love to check some of those out. And I want to thank you guys so much again for subscribing and watching my channel. I hope you have an amazing New Year's Eve. And I will see you guys in 2020. But that is all for this video, honeys. Make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week. Not every two weeks. Not every three weeks. Every seven days or less, honey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, honeys.